had an abortion today. I've always been pro-choice in the abstract, but never thought that it would apply to me in the concrete sense. I'm 36 years old, well-educated, in a very stable relationship. We've been together for 12 years, and I had never been pregnant before. I use condoms religiously in all my sexual relationships, which haven't been many, but stopped gradually over the last few years. We've never been totally sure that we wanted to have children, but we're both of the mind frame that if it happened, it was meant to be, and if it didn't, it wasn't. Besides, we were getting older and nothing ever happened. I was quite convinced that we could not get pregnant for whatever reason and had pretty well come to terms with that. Then two weeks ago, I found out I was pregnant. I was happy for about a half hour that we could, in fact, conceive. Then reality set in. Besides the existing doubts about whether we want to have children, we realized that we really didn't have our ducks in a row, so to speak. My insurance would not begin to cover the cost of the pregnancy and delivery. My boyfriends would if we were married, but we're not. I'm on several medications that may or may not harm developing fetuses. My job requires me to be exposed to anesthesia and radiation and lift animals that are 50 pounds or more. I like my job. While we have two sets of grandparents who would be ecstatic about a baby, we have no day-to-day -day support system. To top it all off, one of our 13-year-old dogs that we love dearly is on his last legs and we were trying to decide whether it was time to put him down at the same time as trying to wrap our heads around the pregnancy. Even more unexpected was that I had none of the warm and fuzzy feelings that I always thought I would. Instead, I felt as though an alien being was taking over my body. I remember a friend who had had her children years ago saying that pregnancy is like having a parasite. I had never understood her statement until now. Making the decision to have an abortion has not been an easy one for me. My boyfriend and I have both cried more in the last two weeks than we have in the last two years. I've spent the time stressed out of my mind about this, and the only time I have felt calm was when I realized deep down that I didn't want this. I know that the degree of stress I've been under cannot be good for a developing fetus. But we came together and made the decision to terminate, and now all I feel is relief that I can have my body and my life back. I was terrified about the procedure itself, but the staff at the women's clinic were fantastic. The doctor was experienced, gentle, and quick, and the pain was minimal, no worse than a pap smear. I had the IV sedation with fentanyl and Versed. The fact that I was only seven weeks pregnant helped, both in terms of my conscience and in terms of how minimal the procedure was. I got pretty nauseated as the sedative wore off, but after vomiting a few times, I was fine. We went home. I had a nice nap, and when I woke up, I was able to eat and keep everything down. I had very mild achiness for a few hours afterwards, and a little bit of bleeding akin to my most mild periods. This has been a life-changing time for me and my boyfriend. We both got our butts kicked by reality, and it has brought us together. We talked, cried, fought, and ultimately, we communicated about it to reach the right decision. The bond between us is stronger than ever. We still don't know whether we will ultimately have children, but we now know what we have to get to the point of having a pregnancy that we can celebrate and be happy about instead of just being freaked out about. Most of all, I am thankful to the doctor and staff at the clinic. I was calm but anxious, and they guided me through the entire process with kindness and without judgment. I got the benefit of a doctor who has years and years of experience performing this procedure. He's a regular OBGYN as well, and I'm sure gets pressure not to continue. I hope that doctors like this will be able to pass on their knowledge to the next generation of doctors. I am grateful that I was born in this country, in this time, that allows me this choice, and that my parents raised me to believe that I do have a choice. I hope that if I ever do have a daughter and she ever finds herself pregnant when she does not want to be, that she too will have a choice and be able to receive the wonderful care that I receive.